good morning everybody welcome to this lovely sunny friday morning today we are just going to have a lovely little flow around the mat just incorporating um, a lot of our weird sounds that we're very familiar with so nothing complicated nothing too stressful just something to get you off and get you moving so we're just going to start in our ordinary hair pose okay but just resting the forehead onto the floor so just taking a wee moment here as you relax the forehead, you can let the toes curl together, soften them round out through the shoulders. And we're going to press the tummy onto the thighs when you breathe, particularly a nice with complete breath. You should feel a lovely press into the thighs and then the expansion really evolving through from the abdomen across into the lower back, rib cage into the back, and around right to the upper chest or to shoulder blades. And exhaling to soften the knees. So as you set your intention for your practice today, just to go with the flow. Just finding pleasure in movement. We'll just extend the arms out fully. We'll lift the bum slightly to seven out the feet now, so we lift the heels into the butt cheeks, coming into a nice classic headband, walking the arms away, feeling the length of all through the arms, allowing the shoulders to rest back into their space rather than pulling them forward, hands working firmly into the ground. Soften into the front shins, into the tops of the feet and across the toes. Lovely. And then we'll bring ourselves up into our tabletop, stacking those lovely four limbs. So if you need to separate the knees just another little bit, making sure we're really nicely stacked, shoulders over heels, the hands, hips over the knees. Okay. And we'll just do some sort of shoulder shrugs. Okay. So a traction and a retraction. So you drop the chest forward and you feel the shoulder blades just sliding towards one another. And then you push up and the shoulder blades slide out and down towards the side of the arms. You can kind of feel that way. And then you just dip and push, dip and push, dip and push. So feel the shoulder blades move a bit. Okay. So when you're dipping, there's a little space that's sort of lost. And when you're lifting the shoulder blades, are spreading apart. Lovely. And then coming back into neutral, so sort of remain with my sort of remain, remembering that sort of dippy and um, track the thing. Okay. As you both go around out the shoulders, draw the hips back and curl belly button into the spine. So we feel that lovely spaciousness in between the shoulder blades. And then as we come forwards, dipping the spine, feeling the drop and the shoulder blades sort of pushing together slightly, taking the shoulders slightly forward from the heels of the hands, and then rolling and curling back again. So it's like a moving forwards and back cat cat. It's a slow measured movement. So just really experience mobilization of the spine, the shoulder blades, the sacrum, and the pelvis. Lovely. Last time. When we come towards the back of the mat, Feel a lightness in the two hands, the shoulders are way back from the heels of the hands. We've got the tail fully tucked in and the belly button drawn in the spine. You feel like you're lengthening away from your hands without lifting them off the mat. Good. So you should feel that right underneath the shoulder blades, right through the length of the arms, right into that tail. Lovely, and then from here, just bring yourself back into your tabletop, take your bottom back to your heels, and slide the arms away back into head pose again. So again, feeling that lovely, awful limb alignment. And expansion through the abdominal thoracic space as you breathe in. Lovely, and then we're going to take the shoulders forward into our extended tabletop. Exhale, bring the chest forward in between the hands, sliding the legs and feet away. Okay, 
Now instead of pushing up with the hands into our cobra pose here, we're going to bring the toes into the mat, okay? And we're going to float the hands. So as you inhale into cobra, lift the heart with you. And then exhale to it. And inhale lift. And exhale to it. And inhale lift. So feeling the tummy working nice and strong to support you as you lift. Slowly allowing to release. Lovely. And then from here, we'll just press up to our table. Hello, our toes coming into down to face the lock. So again, snapping nice those four little feet, hips, with hand, shoulder width. Lovely. And then from here, as we lengthen back through the arms, we're going to push up high onto the balls of the feet, onto the backs of the toes if we can, and really lift our butt cheeks up to the sky. And then we're going to sink down to the heels and have a little look in between our thumbs. And then up onto the toes again, head tucks in. And as we reach down to the heels, gaze in between the thumbs. Last time, nice high turn. Exhale, heels. Lovely. And then we're going to do the same thing here that we did in the cat cow, like a rolling movement. So I want you to dip the spine, feel the shoulder blades go smoothing in towards one another as you take the chest all forwards. So I want you to take the shoulders past the heels and hands, hug it, belly it onto the spine, high on the toes, push back to those heels, and then dip again, bring it forward, lift up, suck it in. This is a nice rolling movement, pelvis, spine, and shoulders. The last time. Brilliant. And then just settle here into down to face the dog. So three breaths. Okay, whether you need to paddle out the feet or whether you're quite happy to stay just still and work with the breath. Great, and then we'll take that eye gaze forward, step, jump, or walk. From to the mat, legs and feet together. Oops. <laughs> This is dropped out, you just carry on. <laughs> oh dear God. I'm flashing all my bits to everybody here. Look the lightning. Yeah. So, legs and feet together, the soft bends the knees. Now just hang out, get my shoulders and chest, arms nice and soft and relaxed. Giving yourself incremental lifts and lengthens into the back of the legs, tilting the sit bones up to the sky and let the head and the chest just gently fall down a bit. Okay, if your legs aren't fully ready for being straight, you just let them be bent, let them be soft. Lovely, and then we'll soft bend to the knees, we'll gently roll it all the way up to start reaching the arms up. Take another leg up to our thumbs, lovely. And then from here, press up to the fingertips. Okay. We're going to lift the tailbone and press the shoulders and arms back a little bit. And then neutralize everything, bring the hands to heart center. So separate the feet out slightly. Okay. So you find a nice distance between your feet just for your own balance. We'll take our hands just to heart center. Roll up onto the ball of our right foot. Okay. And take a little soft bend into the left knee so we really feel the weight going into four corners of the feet. And then just lifting that right knee. We're going to circle the ankle a few times. One way. And then the other. Okay. And then flex and point. Okay. Feel contraction. And stretch consecutively through the shin and the heart. <laughs> Lovely. And then from the heel, we'll flex the heel, flex into the foot, soft bend into our left leg. We're going to sweep that right leg back, standing up. And then as we inhale, lift it up, the knee up into chest. Exhale, heel goes back to soft, steady eye gaze. Lovely engagement from the core of the pelvic floor. Lovely. Last time to bring it up, knee lift up, nice and high. And we'll sweep circles with a pointy toe three times one way. And then we'll bring it the other way and flex the foot. Good. Three times. And then we'll bring that knee lift up again. 
And as we exhale, release from the hands, gently folding down to the floor, sending that great leg back. Square it up into your low lunge position and really feel that body alignment through front knee, front ankle, back heel, back toe, flowing out of the high lunge. Big inhale here, exhale, settle into it. So on the next exhale, spin out to the right, floating those elbows down, pressing out to those fingertips, deepening into that leg. Inhale, come into center, square up those hips. Exhale as you draw it out to the left, soften into the shoulders, press out to the knees. Inhale, bringing ourselves all the way up. And as we exhale, hands in the hand, inside that front foot, grounding the right hand on the right shoulder, sit out to the left. Little twist from the waist to the middle of the rib cage. Lovely. And then from here, grounding into that lovely right hand, send two sets of toes to the left edge of your mat and spin that right side back a little bit. Lovely. And then from here, we'll pop that left hand to the inside of our left foot. Walk it around so we're parallel legs. Okay. Fingertips on the floor. Give yourself a little rock into those soles of the feet so you feel yourself really nicely balanced and we'll just bend into right knee, pushing out to left knee, right knee, and left knee. So as you swing from side to side, push the knee out of the knee that you're bending, press the inside thigh the opposite leg down into the mat. Lovely. And then when we come back to centre, just loop thumbs into the elbow crease and take a little fold. Lovely. And then as we press up, we're going to walk it around to our right foot. So with that low lunge position, stepping back into our plank pose, squaring those lovely hips. Exhale, knees on the mat, chest will comes down, scoop it forward, just lying on the mat here, okay? Coming then into cobra pose. So think about lengthening the legs, leg, inhaling. So, really feeling not a lot of pressure in the hands, okay? Using the core of your back strength to lift you up, okay? Allows you then to relax the shoulders, draw the elbows back. And then as we exhale, we're going to come down and press up through our table. Now let our toes come back into our downward facing dog. Walk into saddle here again. Just finding the right alignment for you just at this moment. Softening into the neck and the head. Brilliant. So we're going to ground our left foot into the mat. Inhale, float our right leg up to the sky. Nice open hip position. So feel like you're pressing the point to your toe of your right foot to the sky, really sinking gently down into your left heel. If you're spinning your right shoulder out to the side of the mat, kind of keep the armpit facing the floor if you can. And then we'll bend that right knee, okay? Draw the toes towards the left butt cheek, we'll sweep lovely circles with our knee on the ceiling. Good, and then we'll take it the other way. And then we'll bring our right knee to our left tricep, moving forward into a plank position, squeeze it across. Pointy toes. Inhale, float it up to the sky, extend that leg. Right tricep, thigh open, lovely knee lift. And then back up we go. Lovely, and then we'll just simply bring it into our pigeon pose. So right knee behind the right hand, sweep it out a little bit wider. Right foot to the left side of the Scrub the hips before you decide to walk it back. Once you're back here, okay, checking that leg is aligned to your line, okay. You can come into your sphinx position here. I'm fixing this again, sorry. So as we square up the pelvis, okay, soften down into the mat, <coughs> we'll rest up onto our two forearms. Okay. Pressing into our sphinx pose means we need to elevate from the forearms up into the shoulders. Okay. And when you do that, you should feel your right hip pressing out and back, okay. and the left thigh and hip crease pressing down into the mat. And we'll take probably about three nice breaths 
here, plane to release, plane to then as you breathe in, take it just that little bit further. Bring the hands back, then shoulder width apart. Okay. Look how the toe under the wall, that left knee, left foot in. Okay. So we can sweep our right leg back into a three legged dog, floating it up to the sky. And then step in right and step beside left and step square and then off, press the insets together. Almost flex the feet here by lifting the toes. And when those super solid feet just roll onto that little toe side of your left. Leg and sweep the hips through to lie the hand underneath. Okay, and reach up side plank. Keep the whole body hip lift. Remember how we like to draw the ribcage in to help us support our shoulders. And then as we plant that right hand down, step it across into plank pose. Exhale. Knees on the lap, cobra pose again. So again, trying to use a little weight into the hands, just float it up. Good. Exhaling to come down, pressing up through our table again. Exhaling down, facing dog. Again, we'll have just three breaths here. So just mentally and physically scan the body. Okay. Have a look at those feet, making sure that they're lovely hip switch. Okay. Strong inside legs as well as front and back. Lovely. And then from here we'll step drop the walk. Again, in between our hands, finding a full forward fold. This time we're going to roll into straight legs if that's available to you. We'll maintain the soft bend into the knees. Lovely, then we'll soft the belly, we'll gently roll it up, always spend big head, reaching up to those thumbs, lift that tailbone, little stretch back of the arms. And exhale into that neutral position here, separate the feet slightly. So this time, left leg, so rolling up onto the ball of your left leg, soft bend into your right knee. And just simply lift that left knee up. And we'll give those little ankle rotations, left foot. One way, and then the other. And flexion and point. Lovely. And then from here, okay, we're going to do little hip circles. One, two, and three. And then flexion as you bring it around the other way. Lovely. And then we'll lift that knee up, soft bend right knee, exhaling into whoops. <laughs> Standing out, not worth it for you today. And inhale up. Exhaling, pressing it back. Inhale up. One more time. Bring it up. And as we gently now sit down, the hands either side of the foot will step that left leg back, square it up into a low lunge position. So we'll be active legs here at this point, floating it up to high. Lovely. So from here, we'll take a nice big inhale as we extend out to the left. Reach out to those fingertips. Inhale to center. Out to the right. Inhale to centre. Exhale as we plant the hands, left hand, so your legs onto the shoulder, onto the step to the right. Good. Keep that left arm nice and active as you rotate those lovely toes to the side edge of your mat, pressing back the right arm. Then the left knee spin out a little bit. And then as you bring that right hand in, we're walking back into our middle space. Feet parallel again here, okay? So we're going to now turn the toes out, okay? And walk it out to our right foot, okay? Press the knee out wide, okay? If you need to slide that heel away, you might be able to slide the heel away, not a little bit. Stabilize with your fingers, and all we're gonna do is internal external rotations of that left leg. So press 
the whole foot forward and down into the mat. Then as you lift it up, push it back a little bit. And then roll it all the way down. Plank it a little toes side down, lift and roll it back. One more time, toes down, rolling it all the way back. Lovely, and then we're walking out to our left leg. Same thing here, pressing the knee out wide. Okay. Stabilizing the fingertips, toes come down. Internal and press back external. So smoothing and lifting, pressing back, using that foot last time. Lovely, and then we'll spin it back into our center point. Feet again paralleling off here, soft bend to the elbows, and fold it. And just let yourself hang here. And then as we press up onto the fingertips, we're walking around to our left foot here. Step back into our plank pose. Again, from our plank pose, dropping the knees on the mat, chest all comes down, legs and feet sliding away. And again, engaging core. Inhale, float up head, neck, chest. Feel very little push with the hands here. They are nicely grounded, but they're not forcing us up into our pose. Exhaling to come down, tables up as we inhale and exhale into down facing dog. <coughs> Lovely. So again from here, just finding a nice even balance between two legs, two arms, soft shoulders, relaxed face, head, neck. And we're grounding into our right foot this time, inhaling, floating our left leg up. Good, so nice press and point, sinking into your right heel, bend your left knee, toe drops towards your right butt cheek. And we'll circle that knee on the ceiling. One way. And then the other. Lovely. And then we're going to bring left knee to right triceps and moving forward into a plank pose. So we'll squish across. And then inhale, press it back up to the sky. And then taking it to your left. Nice lift of your thigh knee, press it out, foot back and back. And then inhale and roll the way up. And then we'll come into pigeon pose. Left knee, left side of the mat, left foot to right side, squaring off that pelvis again, and gently walking it away. Okay, opening and extending that leg side. So if you're tight, just let the foot be tucked in here. So once we slide up, we'll come and space those arms. And we're lifting from our forearms into our shoulders. Softening into the hips, and we slide that right leg away another little bit. So try not to just relax and collapse into the upper back so that your pelvis pops off the mat. Sphinx pose now as you should really press the bit of, a little bit of weight into the hips here. Slide the hands back, shoulder width apart, we're going to have a toe under right foot and we'll like a little walk of our right foot in. Two and a half to three curling toes under foot and that lovely left leg up to the sky. And then we'll step the left foot beside the right, in step to in step. Keep the press back of the shoulders and the hand grip. Okay. So you squeeze your insteps together, lifting and floating the toes, try and roll them onto that little toe side spin. The hips through, we'll reach up into that left arm. Then kind of that left hip arm up to the ceiling. Squeeze that little core in. And as we bring the left hand down, we'll step out of the left foot so we come into a plank pose. Exhaling knees on the mat again, down and over for our cobra. Again, just thinking about engagement of core. Support and measure to your lower back. Inhale, cobra. And as we pop down, we press up through our table. Curl out our toes down, which makes them jump. So just close the eyes here, okay? And mentally scan the body. If it pops the body, we're feeling a little bit rough, a little bit overworked. Just try and soften them. Bend the knees slightly if you need to. Good. 
So from here, just stepping your left foot in between your hands, okay? If you have a block, sort of bring it to the side edge and walk it around, okay? So we're gonna work independently on our warrior two variations, okay? So it just gives us a little bit of an opportunity. Here we go again, wires everywhere today. <laughs> Gives you a little bit of opportunity to work nice and deeply into your poses. Yeah. Great, so we're going to take the feet out. Three and a half to four if you're nice and tall, three and a half, okay, but don't overextend if you're feeling a lot of pressure on your inside, that is for your knee joints, okay. So with nicely parallel feet here, we're going to lift and turn the toes in the right foot and slightly left foot leg all the way around. Okay, bringing our trunks back to our centre space, placing the hands on the hips. Just a little bend and straighten in those left legs. Okay, so getting a nice deep as we can go. Okay, and then settling into the deepest space that you can, drawing the trunk ball again centred, making sure that lovely thigh isn't rolling in towards the mat, and the knee is either behind or over the ankle, not in front. Okay, so we want to get that nice positioning placement there. Because when we stay here for a while, we want to feel solid. We'll float out our arm, shoulder height. Okay, take the legs along that left arm. Just soften the shoulders. Soften the ankle. So, feeling that like your right little toe side is pressed against a solid surface. Okay, then bend a little bit more into that left knee. Right. And then from here, we will reverse. Right arm sliding down, right leg, left arm reaching up and over. Brilliant. Coming back through our warrior two, I gave the long arm, a little lateral stretch, left forearm onto left thigh, right arm reaching over our ear, settle down a little bit deeper into that left knee. Square off that little trunk wall. Belly button to spine, pelvic floor engaged, floating left arm back to the line with its ear. Good. And then as we bring it, left forearm comes down, reach right arm, press it up all the way back into your reverse. And then as we straighten the legs out, parallel off those feet. Okay, lovely. And then we'll hinge out. Nice forward fold. So again, just find some stabilization through the four corners of the feet. Reach the arms out, just slide the hands down the side of the calf, shins, press the elbows out wide. And gently draw ahead that chest in between those legs. So we're pressing the elbows out wide, we're lifting the butt cheeks. Okay, we're kind of active core to help us pull through, okay? So don't just rely on the arms to draw you through, engage that core, and we use that as a pull through mechanism as well. Like you want to lift it up to the sky. 
and then all this lovely sucked in, drawn in, crawl right down along, right in. Brilliant. Lovely, right forearm comes down, we'll sweep it back, reverse. Lovely, and then we'll square it off again. Once we square it off, a little fold out. Rock it out here to toe. And slide the arms forward as if we're doing downward facing dog. And the head to devolve in between the two arms. And then we'll slide the hands back towards the edge of the mat. Use them to jump the feet together. Okay, once you jump the feet together, bending the knees. Okay, so bend the knees as much as you can here, pressing into the four corners of the feet. Okay, bring your hands to pray and tip the fingers to the floor. Good. So we're already sort of sitting in our chair pose. So as we inhale, we're going to float it up chair pose. Now you can lay the hands in front if you want. All the arms above, I want the hands together, okay? And as you exhale, squeeze those inside thighs, right elbow to left knee, prayer twist, twist and turn. Relax your left shoulder, drop the butt cheeks a little bit lower. Good, one more breath here. And on your exhale, we're just gonna bring it back to center, tip those fingers to the floor again. Inhale, float them up. Exhale out to the other side. Good. Draw the ribcage round. Square off those knees. Lovely. And then we'll take the fingers back to the floor. Separate the hands. Jump the feet out. Fold down the elbows to the mat. If that is available to you. If not, we're just drawing the forearms in. Lovely, and then from here as you press up onto your hands, slide the off a little bit closer in case you need it. Bring yourself all the way up. Lovely, so again we're having three and a half to four. Okay, or three and a half. We're going to turn the toes in the right foot and slightly left foot and leg all the way around. Okay, so coming back into our warrior two, bending the knees, sweeping the arms out. Lovely. So I gaze along that lovely left arm. So, so we'll get a nice long stretch this time along that left eye. A little bit more. Okay? And then as we sweep the arm to the inside the leg, if you need your block that's there, I'm just going to place your hand onto the block, reach the right arm up to the sky, take your eye gaze along that arm to that thumb. And then rotation, palm the hand over your ear. Reach to your fingertips, press to your little toe side, right foot. Lovely. One more breath here. Let yourself sit into this. And then from here, use the block as support as mentioned, just straightening into our left leg. It might be a little bit, it might be a lot. Okay, just as we keep that extension through our right side. Brilliant. And then as we bring ourselves all the way up, bring that lovely block with you, parallel on your feet, pop it down to the other side. Good. So then we'll turn the toes in, left foot and leg, right foot and leg all the way around. We'll bend into that knee, warrior two. So again, trunks parallel, leg is along that one. Good. Sinking a little deeper here, but the more you bend that right knee, the easier it will be for you to stretch. We're extending across that right thigh as much as we can. We're sweeping the arm down, finding that block, placing it inside the leg, left arm above the shoulder. Okay. And if your back leg's gone away, while well, it's not lifted and engaged, press into a little toe side, press it on. I gaze along that left arm to left thumb. Lovely, and then rotate. Sweep it over that ear, relax the shoulder, so it have not sucked into your ears, nicely relaxed. And then from here we'll just press up into a lovely straight right leg. So keeping that lovely lateral space. Lovely. 
and then we'll bring ourselves all the way back up and leave the block where it is. As you turn your toes in, you might give it a little kick and fold it down. Okay, once you're there, walking it all the way around to your right foot. We'll step back into our plank pose. Exhale, the knees on the mat. We're going to just come all the way down to the floor. Okay. Lengthening each leg away. Okay. So we take the hands, interlace the fingers behind the back. Okay. So once you've got the fingers interlaced, you've got to actively move the shoulders. So lift the shoulders back from the ears, press the arms away, and then lift up the neck, shoulders, and chest. Lovely. So we're going the toes, and we've got a nice active core. And there's very little stress going on in the shoulders and the arms here. Lovely. And then we'll release it down. We'll sweep the hands and underneath the shoulders, press up through tabletop, down facing dog. And exhale. Lovely. Inhale, lift and float the left leg up to the sky. Good. Tuck the left knee into chest, so we'll step that left foot in between the hands. Now you have your blocks at the front of the mat if you need them from here. We're going to come into high lunge first. Good. From high lunge as we sweep, reach forward. So really reach it forward. So using that toe of the back foot to push you forward, take the hands down to standing up. Okay. Once you come into standing up, body check. So at this point, if you need blocks, bring them into your space. Lovely. From here, we're lengthening through our right arm. We're keeping a nice flat pelvis and we're turning into the left for our reverse half moon. Lovely. A little bit more turn. In turn, spiralize your right thigh. Left. Then, as you come back to center, little soft bend into your left knee so that you can stay right and balance here. And bring the hands to heart center. Lovely. Spread the arms out wide like an airplane. Lovely. And then we'll pop right down. Both hands on the floor. Step that right leg back. Step the left leg back into our plank pose. Again, knees on the back, chest will come in. Then, once we're here, okay. Let the forehead rest on the mat. Take the hands, okay, make little fists, okay. So that the back of the hands will hit the floor, okay. Soft down the elbows, lift the pelvis and press the knuckle joints into your hip flexors. Let the elbows soften down and the shoulders soften down, okay. And then as you inhale, press the hip flexors firmly onto knuckle joints. Just inhale to float those lovely legs up. And then we can lift our head just a little bit and press and push those legs up as high as they want to go. Just hold them here. Keep reaching them a little bit. Lovely. And then we'll release the legs down. We'll take the hands out. We'll bring them in under the shoulders again, pressing up through our table into our downward facing dog. And just settle in again for just a few breaths here. Lovely. Inhale, floating right leg up. Tucking right knees, chest, all right foot's coming in. Okay. Low lunge into your high lunge. And as you exhale, reaching forward. So bring yourself forward. Lifting into standing L, checking the alignment of your left leg, taking your hand onto your block, block on the hand on your left side if you need to. And this time as you spin it out to the right, keep the inside thighs to the right, but then draw on to one another. Soften the bend into our right knee. Bring the hands to heart center. And then 
relax your right shoulder. Lovely, and then we'll sit. Two arms down, okay? And from here, just sweep it all the way around like a little cut with coming up in there. Taking out the sharp angle of your back foot, we'll exhale for our Trikonasana triangle pose. So nice and lovely, long, tall spine. There's lots of space around the ribs. And then we'll float it all the way up. Parallel off the feet, so now we're narrow between our two feet. Okay. We'll turn the heels in and come and sit down into our goddess. Okay. And then just tip the fingertips down onto the floor. And rock it out from side to side. Deepen the seat just another little bit. Okay. Now feel that you're really nicely settled here as we drop the butt cheeks. Bring your hands to heart centre, okay? Now, when we come to balance on our toes, you can take the fingers back down to the floor. We want you to lift the heels, okay? And really sit into the butt. Brilliant, well done. And then those lovely heels will come down. We'll tip the fingers to the floor, lovely. We'll parallel our feet. We'll gently walk it around, okay? Step back into our plank pose. Exhale, knees on the mat, lift them all the way down to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lovely. And exhale, down facing dog. So we're taking a left leg up this time. And tucking that knee and setting the left foot in between the hands, right heel swivel snap. Okay. Taking a little bit of time to extend the length and into our left leg, our string lengthening, and our forward folding. Okay, so remember that we want to feel, okay, that we're not sinking our left hip down, coming our right hip back. So feel like you've grown an extra long left leg here. And then we'll bend into that left knee, coming up into our right one. Lovely. And then you'll take your hands behind your back the same way as you did before, whether you did reverse namaste or interlace on the fingers. Okay. And we'll fold down the middle of the mat, left thigh, left chest. Walk. Softness into the head, extension, and then lengthening into our left leg. Sweep the arms over. Good. So keeping that lovely active floor. Good. One more breath here. So a soft bend to the knee as you come all the way up, back into the warrior walk. Coming into a reverse triangle again, you can place that block okay, onto your left on the toe side, left hand to your left waist. Reach up, press it back as you extend, reach forward. Okay. As we come nice and forward, then as we sweep. So you can consecutively start straightening that left leg, sweeping your right hand to your left on the toe side. Evolving into your rotation. Once you've stabilised those legs, lifting that left arm up. Good. Maintain your focus, your awareness, full body. Your right leg, sorry, we'll sweep it out into our triangle foot. Beautiful. Super duper, and then we'll bring that hand down, roll onto the ball of that left foot, step 
to take the top of the crisscross the legs behind us to gently roll them to our lying down. Just tuck the knees into the chest and the head fall into the mat. So from here is draw the thighs into the chest wall, soften down into the tail, and then just curl up head and neck and squeeze into the little ball. And then as we drop the head back down, placing the two feet onto the mat. Okay, we slide our right leg away, lift our left foot off the mat with a box shape. Left arm sweeps out, right arm touches left thigh. And we'll just spin it out into a little spinal twist. Lovely, don't be turning head in the opposite direction. So just slowly relax in here, just learn that lovely breath. Stretch into the waist, hips, shoulders. And then we'll just bring it back to centre. So straighten everything out. Sending the left leg away, right knee. Right arm sweeps up. Left hand's catching right thigh, looking out to the left. Gently taking our head to the right. Got to soften into the right foot here. Exhale, 
uh, bring my arms into center, hands down, just press and breath out, last breathe out. And then you kind of create a almost a vacuum within your lungs, and then you inhale again. And just to look gently forward, just to hold on to the left back and right and back, just in you. No need to change or alter now. And then to the stand bones, we're going to crown the head over the face, the neck, the shoulders, front of the back. Checking that every part feels completely relaxed. As you lie here, you can perhaps imagine this ground. Gently resting on cushions on a boat. Floating down the river. So you're aware of the fluidity beneath the, the water. And the space above you, the air. Just check the flushing on your skin. Okay.